Recently, Chris Irons of the Quoth the Raven podcast put out a warning that stocks are a, quote, time bomb, highlighting the disconnect between an economy that says incoming recession, be speckled with bank crashes, whilst the stock market floats on wings of gossamer. I've talked a lot about the economic data, but we can sum it in the conference board's index leading indicators, everything from jobs to profits, which have been falling for over a year. And yet, although the S&P 500 has fallen about 8% from its peak last year, it's still historically very expensive. For example, the Schiller PE is almost double its usual level, meaning if a company makes a billion dollars a year, it costs 31 times that, 31 billion, where historically that should be closer to 16. And remember that historical 16 is dominated by non recessions. So 85% of the time, the economy is not, in fact, headed into recession. So we are now currently double that historical, mostly non-recession number. Meanwhile, the Buffett indicator, which divides the stock market by GDP, is similarly overvalued, higher than it is about 90% of the time. This is odd because not only is recession either here or imminent, depending who you believe, and that's according to banks, professional economists, the yield curve, and even the Fed itself, it's especially odd considering the degree of external chaos in the world right now is much higher than in most recessions. Between the most aggressive rate hikes in 50 years, the collapsing banks, war and a near coup in one large nuclear power, and even potential conflict between the U.S. and yet another nuclear power. And yet, not only are markets historically overvalued, we are actually still seeing speculative bubbles from everything from crypto to AI. So why the disconnect? I think the clues are the timing. Last year, markets felt like they would for a normal recession, with the S&P down a third and the NASDAQ down a quarter. But starting in December, so seven months ago, markets started turning and marching much higher, with growth stocks like AI outpacing value stocks like utilities. That's normally what you expect in a boom, not when recession is coming. So what happened in December, my best guess is that headline CPI, the inflation rate, started coming down fast enough that stock pickers started hoping the Fed could actually engineer a soft landing. I've talked in previous videos why I think they're wrong, that the so-called rolling recession is due to pent-up pandemic demand and people running down stimulus savings and government benefits, in which case headline CPI coming down is not a rolling recession, it is actually the normal recession talking. So energy and commodities always fall in recessions, while core CPI has in fact barely budged in a year. Indeed, that stuck CPI is panicking central banks worldwide, I've talked about this in a couple of recent videos, including the Fed, who is afraid that if you don't kill inflation fast enough, it sticks around for a very long time. Put it together, and I think markets are lulled by the contradictory numbers while they're underestimating what central banks have in store to crush the economy and kill the inflation they fear so much. I'll conclude with another quote from Chris, quote, I'm an idiot and I make mistakes. Wise words. Nobody has any idea how long the market will take to understand economic reality or even if that reality shifts in the meantime. But I do think the disconnect between economy and markets means that investing at this point is a casino. Markets could go up, they could go down, but at some point you are collecting dimes in front of steamrollers. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.